is your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. We're learning more about two people killed at a party that turned violent over the weekend. Now, the two people killed early Saturday morning in Saginaw have been identified as 19 year old Ryan Clemens and 51 year old Pamela Whitson. At least a dozen other people were shot or struck by vehicles near Johnson and Fourth. Police say there were more than 300 people at the party when shots were fired. Still no word yet on any arrests. Well, July concerts in Auburn have been canceled at the Chamber of Commerce canceled Corn Fest last week. The anticipated tailgate in Tall Boys Music Festival, well set for July 28th and 29th, now impacted. According to the tickets being sold online, the festival will now be happening the same dates at the Midland County Fairgrounds. Auburn Mayor Lee Kilborn, the chamber opposed the summer concerts too, saying that due to insurance risk, the largeness of the event and fears it could repeat to the mess left last year. We have reached out to the festival's company and the Midland County Fairgrounds for comment. Well, it's National HIV Testing Day. You can go to the Genesee County Health Department's Burton office on South Saginaw Street until 4. Get your test and results in 20 minutes. Saginaw County Health Department on Michigan Avenue has testing from 1 until 5.30 p.m. In Midland, the Public Health Department has walk-in testing until 3. If you get tested, you'll get a voucher for a free taco from Proper Taco. Tuscola County is offering testing all day. Health officials say the best way to keep everyone healthy is to know your status.